This is part 3 in CSS, Creating a 3-Column Layout. We're going to be styling the header and the horizontal navigation. A quick review of what we're working towards in this series of videos. We're working on creating this 3-Column Layout with vertical and horizontal menu systems. The portion of our code that we're going to be working on is our header division. It consists of our CSS image, our H1 heading, our horizontal navigation. Let's go up and work on our header. Okay, so we're going to start by giving margins around. And we're going to have no margin at the top, so it'll be right up at the top of our page. Zero pixels to the right. 25 pixel margin to the bottom and 0 pixels margin to the left. We're going to go ahead and put a border on our header so we see the difference between our content and our head header. So border, bottom, thin, black, solid. And that will take care of defining our area and our border. Let's do our image. We're going to float our image to the left. We're going to give it a padding of 0 pixels at the top and 25 pixels to the right. That so that our heading one won't bump right up against it. Start working on our navigation a little bit. We're going to do a list style of none. That'll take away the bullet points. We're going to float our bullet our list items, excuse me to the left. That's going to get rid of the natural margin that they have within list items. We're going to display these block. We're going to give it a margin of 10 pixels, lowercase m, margin of 10 pixels all the way around. And we're going to do some padding as well of 0 pixels at the top. 35 pixels to the right side, so that there's some separation between each of our list items. 0 pixels to the bottom and 0 pixels to the left. I'm going to come up now and work on our full navigation area. I'm going to give it a margin of 25 pixels to the top so that it won't run into the header. and 0 pixels to the left and right. That's 25 to the top and the bottom. 0 pixels to the left and the right. Padding of 0. And we're going to give it a background color of that tan, which is hash BFA567. Okay, so the other thing that we want to do is we want to give our navigation some um, styling for our anchors. So we're going to, sorry, I can't say it correctly, going to do a text decoration of none. This will get rid of the normal hyperlink underscore. And we're going to make them a color of white against that tan background. So the other thing I'm going to do right at the moment is I'm going to give a hover color for our, our links in our horizontal. So when we do that, it will take the color of our container, or excuse me, our body outside of our container and make them blue. So I'm going to do a color of hash mark 225B94. Okay, so that takes care of our styling for our header our image and our navigation. Let's go ahead and save this and take a look at what we've got. And there we have it. We have floated our image. We've put this across the next to it, across the top. We've taken our vertical, or excuse me, our horizontal navigation across and we've put our border at the bottom. So thank you very much for watching. The next thing we're going to be working on is doing our three-column layout with our
horizontal, navigation, our subheading section with our image in the middle, and we're going to go ahead and put in a third column. So keep watching.